Congratulations on purchasing an Aqua One, Aqua Start 320, Aqua Start 500, or an Aqua Mode 300. These models each have under gravel filters and very similar setup procedures. I'll now take you through the complete setup. First, you must decide where to position your aquarium. These cute models are great for almost any location because of their size. Once you've decided on a location, unwrap the aquarium and place it in your desired position. Make sure you place the aquarium on a flat, level surface, strong enough to easily support its weight when filled with water and any decorative rocks. If you set the aquarium up on an uneven surface, it might crack. We recommend an Aqua One cabinet, designed just for your aqua style or UFO. To begin your setup, connect the power head to the small uplift riser that's attached to the under gravel plate, making sure it's installed firmly. You now have to select which outlet to attach to the power head. The difference between the pieces is purely aesthetic, and so you don't need to worry about which one will work better. The outlet pipe will return the water from the filter from one jet in the corner of the aquarium. The spray bar will return water from the filter and disperse it along the length of the aquarium, creating a different visual effect. Once you've chosen, connect the preferred outlet to the top of the power head, like so. If you've chosen to attach the spray bar, make sure the holes of the spray bar face forward towards the front of the aquarium and not upwards. Now open the lid of the aquarium, fold back the hinges and place the complete under gravel unit on the bottom of the aquarium. The power head should be at the back and place the power cord over the lip at the rear. And that's all it takes to have your aquarium ready to decorate and fill with water. To fill your aquarium, start by placing your rinse gravel at the base of the aquarium. If your aquarium contains an under gravel filter, make sure the filter plate is completely covered by a layer at least four centimetres deep. Gravel's a better aquarium substrate than pebbles because the large pebble size allows excess food and waste to fall through the grains and build up on the bottom of the aquarium and, well, it rots. Gravel is finer and allows excess food and waste to land on the surface, where it can be consumed by scavenging fish, keeping your aquarium much healthier. Next, place in any plastic plants and ornamental decorations. Aqua One has a massive range of plastic plants and copy corals that add colour and beauty. Aqua One also has a huge range of air operated and resin ornaments to suit any style of aquarium, which are a perfect refuge for your fish and create a lot of interest in your aquarium. Any synthetic ornaments and plants should be rinsed in tap water before putting in the tank. Also available is a large range of Aqua One aquarium backgrounds, which can neaten up and enhance the look of your aquarium. Next, put in your air stones and connect the air line to the air pump. If you can, try to place your air pump above the water level of the aquarium. If you're placing the pump below the water level of the tank, make sure to use an Aqua One check valve. Otherwise, it is possible for water to siphon back down the tube and may damage your pump, which is not covered by the guarantee. Every electrical cord should have a drip loop to stop water running down the cord from the tank into the equipment or electrical power outlet. Also, position your thermometer and heater if required. Now you can gently fill your aquarium with water. When filling the aquarium, it's important that you don't fill the tank too high with water to ensure your aquarium doesn't overflow once you add the fish and the ornaments. Also, if you're going to have a saltwater aquarium, you should test by running it with fresh water first to avoid damaging your home with salt in case of any leaks. Remember to add Aqua One water conditioner to your water to remove chlorine, heavy metals and other chemicals which will damage your filter and could harm your fish. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. 
With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Next, plug in the heater, air pump and filter power head and switch them on. Close the lid and turn on the light. Before adding the fish, double check each item is working properly. Check the heater light is on if the water is under 25 degrees and that bubbles are coming out of the air stone. For the filtration, observe that water is being passed through the filter smoothly and it's not spraying or leaking out of the tank. Double check that the spray bar is pointing down. Your aquarium is now ready for a few small fish. However, it's safer to run your aquarium for at least three days before introducing them to your system. Oh, and if you've got a salt water set up, it may take a little longer. So it's best to ask your local Aqua One dealer or grab a copy of the DVD, your instructional marine aquarium guide. Take a few minutes to check out the other important chapters. They'll cover maintenance and care of your new aquarium. Enjoy.